Okay, Assalamualaikum Warahmatullahi Wabarakatuh Dan juga Salam Ramadan Okay, so today I'm going to cover A question from chapter 9 Ada chapter 9, first awak kena Determine lah soalan yang kita nak selesaikan tu Discrete ataupun continuous Okay, so obviously Daripada soalan uh, This is a continuous random variable Okay, kemudian awak kena check Sama ada dia PDF ataupun CDF uh, So, kita tengok dia punya simbol Is Uh, lower case letter F Ataupun F kecil uh, Jadi dia adalah PDF lah okay, Dan juga dia dah obviously stated here uh, This is probability density function uh, So PDF lah for short there yeah. Okay so uh, C is constant Giving your answer correct to three significant figures Where appropriate Find the value of K and the median The mean and variance And also we have to find the CDF Ataupun Uh, capital F and sketch the graph of the capital F ok so first kalau kita deal dengan F kecil ni kita akan berhadapan dengan integration eh. we have to uh, do integration ok so sekarang ni kita nak cari nilai C terlebih dahulu jadi cara nak cari nilai C tengok je dia punya interval ni ok so kita kena integrate mengikut interval tu lah so we are going to integrate from 1 until 4 Okay, and then we take the function Okay, which is C over X Okay, kemudian kena ada with respect to X Sebab ni integration And then you are going to equate to 1 Okay uh, So C is just constant So you can take out C Okay, so we integrate from negative 1 until 4 When you take out C, you have 1 over X Okay, with respect to X Equals to 1 uh, Equals to 1 tu by default eh Kalau nak cari unknown Okay, constant, dia kena equals to 1 Okay, so integrate 1 over x The answer you will get is ln x And the limit of integration is from 1 until 4 And then you equate to 1 And then you substitute Okay, so we have ln 4 minus with ln 1 Okay, dan juga ln 1 is 0 eh? Ln 1 is 0 So we have c ln 4 is equals to 1 Okay, so that means uh, your C is 1 over ln 4. Okay, but uh, the question wants you to leave the answer correct to 3 significant figures. Okay, so I'm going to convert 1 over ln 4 to decimals. Zero point seven to one. the answer. Okay, and then uh, we want to find the median. Okay, nak cari median okay, Kalau daripada F kecil Awak kena integrate ha, Nak integrate apa? Integrate daripada 1 sampai M ha, Jadi M tu lah kita punya median Okay and then we take the function uh, The function we already found C uh, So it become 0.721 over X And then with respect to X Kemudian kalau nak cari median Default dia kena samakan dengan 0.5 Okay Now let's integrate Okay so we have 0.721 Okay as constant Okay integrate 1 over x Kita akan dapat uh, ln x Okay daripada 1 sampai m Sama dengan 0.5 Okay kemudian let's uh, substitute The integration limit So we have 0.7 Uh, to 1 Okay, so bila substitute We are going to get ln m Okay, minus with ln 1 Okay, equals to 0.5 Okay, so ln 1 is 0 So we have 0.721 ln m Sama dengan 0.5 Okay, so ln m is equals to 0.5 Uh, divide by 0.721 Ok uh, So kita nak dapat M Kita tukar daripada log tu kepada index Jadi M sama dengan Exponent kuasa 0.5 Per dengan 0.721 Ok so we evaluate the value using calculator So the answer will be 2 Okay, so that's how we find the value of constant and also the median.
So now we are going to continue with question B. Uh, so we want to find the mean and variance of x. Okay, so to find mean, that means we want to find expected x. Okay, so to find expected x, what do you have to do? Also integrate. Okay, so we integrate from 1 until 4. Okay, and then we take the function 0 0.721 over x. Okay, so to find expected x, we have to multiply the function with x. Okay, and then we simplify. So integrate 0 0.21 with respect to x, we will get 0 0.721 x. Okay, and then the limit of integration is from 1 until 4. So as usual, let's substitute. So we have 0 0.721 times with 4. Okay, minus with 0 0.721 times with 1. Okay, so we will get the answer. 2.16 Okay, and then let's find the variance. To, so to find a variance, the formula is expected x squared minus with expected x squared. Okay, so we already have the value of expected x. So let's substitute. So we have 2.16 here. And then we have to put square. Okay, but the problem is we haven't found our expected x square. So we have to find expected x square. To find expected x square, what do we have to do is we have to integrate. Okay, so we integrate from 1 until 4. Okay, and then we write the function. Okay, but this time when we want to find expected x square, we have to multiply the function with x square. Okay, so now let's find it. Uh, first, let's simplify. Okay, so when you simplify and integrate, you will get 0 0.721 x square over 2. Okay, and then the limit of integration is from 1 until 4. And now let's substitute our limit. So we have 0 0.721 4 square over 2 okay minus with 0 0.721 1 square over 2 so the final answer will be so the value of expected x square is 5.41 okay so now we want the variance so let's take expected x square and substitute into the formula of variant and the answer of variance is equals to 0.74. And for question C, we want to find the CDF, which is the cumulative distribution function. And we want to sketch the graph of our cumulative function. Okay, so now let's... Um, find the CDF first. So to find the CDF, we are going to look at the value here. Okay, and then I'm going to draw a line like this. Okay, so I'm going to put the range okay, from 1 until 4, the domain. Okay, so I put 1 until 4 on this line. And then let's check the area. Okay, so this area is on the left of 1. Eh? The sebelah kiri satu. Jadi kawasan tu adalah x less than 1. Okay, so nak letak equal tak apa, tak letak pun tak apa sebab ni continuous. Okay, kemudian this area pula, dia antara 1 dengan 4. Okay, so interval dia adalah from 1 until 4. Okay, and then for this area is x greater than 4. Okay, nak letak equal pun tak apa. If it doesn't have equal, it's also okay. Okay, so our cumulative will be, okay, so cumulative function, dia mesti start dengan kosong. Okay, dia akan berakhir dengan satu. Okay, itu syarat dia, dia start dengan kosong, berakhir dengan satu. Okay, jadi ada berapa function dia? 
Okay, kena ikut dia punya interval lah. 1, 2, 3. Okay, so I'm going to put the interval. Okay, so here is the first one which is x less than 1. Okay, and then the last one is yang nombor 3. X greater than equal 4. Okay, dan yang kat tengah adalah X in between 1 and 4. Okay, so let's find our cumulative. Okay, so I'm going to draw a line like this. Okay, so for the first interval, the cumulative will be less than 1. So from negative infinity... So I'm going I'm not going to put 1 I'm going to put x. Okay so here will be 0. So the answer is also 0. Okay and then for the second column the cumulative function will be let's take the previous answer which is 0 and then plus with okay we refer to the interval 1, I'm, I'm not going to put 4, but I'm going to put x. And the function is 0 0.721 over x. With respect to x. Okay, so the answer will be 0 0.721 ln x. Okay, integrate 1 over x, we get ln x. And the limit of integration is from 1 until x. Okay, so take note when you substitute x into the function, the answer will be the same, which is 0 0.721 ln x. And then minus with, when you substitute 1, ln 1 is 0. So the answer is 0 0.721 ln x ok and then lastly we are going to substitute 4 so f4 is equal to 0 0.721 ln 4 ok so you must get 1 ok and then lastly for the cumulative fx is equal to we take the previous answer which is 1 And then plus with greater than 4, so I'm going to integrate 4 until x. And the function is 0. So the answer is 1. Okay, so we already written our 0 and 1. So we need to write this function eh, for the middle. So 0 0.721 ln x. Okay, so this is our CDF. Okay, next let's sketch the function of our CDF. So we need exist. Okay, this is our x exists and this is our y exists. And then we just put the value of x which we can see from here. So we can see 1 and 4. So let's put 1 and 4. Okay, and then uh, to sketch this, it is similar to sketch the piecewise function we, which you had learned from last semester. So what do you have to do when x is less than 1? It is just 0. Okay, for this, let's substitute 1. Okay, so when it is 1, you will get 0. Okay, and then uh, you substitute 4. Okay, and look at the value of y. So when you substitute 4, you will get 1. Okay, and then we have to connect these dots. Okay, connect it. And then when x greater than 4, it is just 1. So I just draw this line. Okay, so that is the graph of fx. Okay, don't forget to label capital F. So that's how we sketch the graph, eh? we sketch the piecewise function.